Oh, what's going on toxic gamers people are bricked up man people are excited people are shaking today and everybody's like yo man black ops 6 here black ops 6 here right we're gonna get to it is black ops 6 worth buying or is it not we're gonna get to it like the video if you love your mama like the video if you do not buy the bbc bundles and call of duty also become a member so the day i get cancelled i can fight through and we can all fight through another day okay Bruh. but we gotta get to it man people excited about this ish bruh people getting prestige already and the game hasn't even dropped yet you know also the free spirit i am a free spirit i am that little princess she's getting accused of cheating once again so that might be a different topic for a different day but shout out to the homie nero roll it the Check launch this. of the game although technically the game's not officially out yet the new zealand trick did end up working for consoles yeah. it also worked i think for the microsoft app on pc if you're using game pass but some people had trouble with BattleNet. some people had trouble with steam you were not able to join the session of consoles players like we could last year so not as many people got to play the game early this of year course, but a course. lot of people did i'm sure you guys have been watching lots of live streams tons of videos went up today and why ones to do here i mean people are already prestige bro people are already prestige <laughs> yeah everybody took a flight to new zealand by the way just kind of talk about my early first impressions of black ops 6 the full game as compared to the beta i want to preface boys. this video by saying everything here is a very very early first impression i do have like five hours or so played in the game but the game's five not hours? officially out yet and of course Damn. it is sweaty as all hell if you're somebody <laughs> who was able to get into the game early by doing the new zealand trick or yeah. whatever it is you did then you're gonna be a pretty hardcore cop uh, i'll be honest though zombie so far kind of feels mid for me just by watching and i'll preface this by saying i've only been watching youtube videos on it i played the multiplayer beta and i did enjoy my time with the multiplayer beta i thought it was better than concord i thought it was better than dustborn and watching the gameplays for the multiplayer i have to be real bruh like multiplayer to me feeling a little better though yeah right i, I want to know like where you at do you feel i feel like that some of you will find for sure and understandably and i and i get that some of you will find multiplayer mid others will find zombies mid i'm finding zombies mid right now hopefully it gets better but i don't know man odd fan right every person you're seeing in my lobbies is actually either a native new zealander or maybe an australian or more likely somebody from across the world that just wanted to play black ops 6 early yeah. and as such yeah, yeah, yeah. the game is incredibly sweaty not only do we have skill-based matchmaking but we have only the most dedicated players here sort of similar Fast. to how the beta worked and this is not helped by the new movement and the tiny maps as we predicted a lot of the maps i haven't bought the game just yet i'm still kind of debating i feel like that i might get it for multiplayer Bruh. For multiplayer and then zombies would be like a bonus uh not sure about the campaign uh yeah i heard people say it is, it's actually good which is which is good to hear it's good to hear it's good to hear but i'm like really really curious about how the homie blame truth is gonna come out with his retweet helmet and talk about how x define will save us like that's the part that i'm genuinely most excited for because like i want to see like how he uh, brings it together, how he storyline the ish out of it and, and tells us about, hey, X Defiant, better than Black Ops 6. I'm excited about that, actually. So it's gonna be an experience, guys. It's gonna be an experience. I, I love this era, guys. I love this era, you know? New Call of Duty coming out, people hating it, people loving it, people defending it. You got everybody, right? Like all, to every type of player from, a player comes around from all walks of life. We have everybody from all walks of life is what I'm trying to say. Whenever a new Call of Duty comes out, you got Call of Duty D riders, okay? You got Call of Duty BBC riders, you got Call of Duty haters, you got Call of Duty, uh, refugees as well cannot forget the refugees man call of duty toxic gamers toxic gamers everybody comes together and people loving it people hating it people getting like erectile this you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and some people are getting hit in the g-spot and all you know what I'm saying? so yeah right like so it, it, this i love this time i love this time of the year it's really really good man it's really really good so in this game play incredibly fast they are not very big really whatsoever there's not a ton Love of breathing it. room but it Love has it. been fun i must say it has been fun to learn these new maps the beta maps were even changed around a little bit Treyarch initially revealed this during their blog post i'll put a link to that down there in the description if you guys want to check that out while you're waiting for the full launch of the game okay. skyline had a bit of a revamp near the b flag next to the hot tub as we can see from this nifty little slider that they added to the blog post they also added some cover for the second story jump up point as well as the upstairs hallway Scud got Bruh. a few minor changes, but the biggest one is it looks so much better in the after phase, and it does look like they oh, went through and touched okay. up a lot of the maps in the game. Yeah, okay, no, a tiny bit improvement. I, I like that. I like the fact that, okay, you know, it's hilarious. 
because there isn't much of a difference they just like called it a <laughs> they just changed the skybox a little bit and, call, and called it a day but you know what objectively i gotta give them credit for this one because usually okay usually whenever a beta comes out that is the final game right that is the final game and whatever you saw in the beta or played that's how the game will be and more often than not the betas are usually the best and the games is a lot worse than the beta version this time it feels like that graphically lighting wise they have improved it so big ups to them all right big ups to them so far based off of what i'm looking at you guys gotta understand that i'm still skeptical i haven't purchased the game i'm still like trying to decide whether i want to buy the game or not okay yeah right that's basically where i'm at i know some of you like yeah, yeah, yeah skizzle just like, get it on game pass uh because uh, here's the thing though like the problem that i have is that if i get one month subscription of game pass and if i end up liking the game i will then go ahead and buy the game so it's like i buy the game and then i spend like 20 dollars or something like some like that a month on game pass so it's like i'm wasting money right like you, you know what i'm saying so yeah see that's a that's a that's a problem right that's a problem so i don't want to like spend money on the game pass and then it's like oh man i'm liking the game i'm liking the game therefore i gotta go and buy the game and then it's like i'm getting bumble caught after that so i'm just gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna give it a day maybe sleep a day maybe sleep a night sleep two nights maybe maybe wait a week and then decide whether or not to get the game or not right i want to know like how many of you guys already purchased and you're like bumble club brother i i'm addicted i'm addicted they got me they got me i will give activision my money i want to know like if you already gave activision your money or you're waiting for it and has anybody bought that five years 20 dollar subscription for that audio profile if you bought that don't ever talk to me again okay or you can talk to me but this is ex don't ever talk to my dog this is why my boy loves to bite people by the way this is not my dog guys so just a just a picture all right don't take it for real for real to make right? them look a little bit better rewind also had a few minor sightline changes but the biggest thing about black ops 6 oh, right damn. now so far is the honeymoon phase knowing uh, damn well the skill-based matchmaking is oh they removed the car that's it <laughs> that's it but but that's it but that's it it's in full effect and also knowing that right now the only people playing the game are those who set their locations to new zealand the game is going to be a sweat fest that was a given but the thing for me is what feels like for the first time in two years i'm playing a new call of duty game modern warfare 3 didn't really feel like a new game such hammer games of course killed it with modern warfare 3 their post-launch support was second to none but having all 16 of the base maps of that game just being remastered from modern warfare 2 along with all the carry forward stuff that we had with the guns and the operators modern warfare 3 just did not really have that fresh feeling it didn't really mm. feel like a brand new cod title black ops 6 to me feels new i'm sure some people are just going to look at the gameplay and say it looks like cold war well it's supposed to it's a sequel that's how that new call of duty guys <laughs> I, 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 the multiplayer beta that i played i did enjoy my time right i i think it is better than concord it's better than dustborn i'm just trying to find a common ground because i know that some of you uh will like nah because our trash game ever garbage belongs in one place and one place only and the garbage right i i know i know and some of you will be defending it with your life with your honor you will defend it you will be like that this is the best game ever best game ever best game best game ever best game and i get that respectfully i get that right so you got both sides i get that and, and i'm trying to find a balance i'm trying to find balance i'm trying to find like a like, like a page that we can all be on we all gotta be at least this time i guess we can be all on the same page uh and uh, i guess you guys gonna agree that it's been better than concord and dustmorn right yeah like the video if you think it's better than concord and dustmorn right and i enjoyed i enjoyed my time i think it's better than concord so i'll say that it, it, it has been an enjoyable experience but to say that this game is new are you sure about that one? I don't know about that one. That hurts, right? Though. But there are new maps to explore and play. There are new guns to mess around with. We're returning to the Black Ops universe. We're trying out these new attachments and perk combinations, seeing which score streaks are good or not, jumping into the face-off playlist and trying out those maps. Just Ooh. everything right now feels fresh, as it should, considering it's a new Call of Duty game. But once again, to reiterate, this feels much more like a new game as compared to what we've had in the last couple of years. I don't know about you guys, but I was getting prey burnout on the entire modern warfare thing. So to go to a game like this, sure, it does kind of 
look and sometimes feel a bit like Black Ops Cold War, but it has its own unique feeling to it, and everything just kind of feels fresh. For the first part of today, I mostly decided to do what I told you guys I was going to do, and that was to just start racing the first prestige, and of course, working on my weapon camos. I decided to use the XM4 and work on those headshots, as it was the first gun that was available to me, and I was able to get them finished. I then did the oh, extra wow. challenges, and now I have my first gold gun out of the way. But even then, using one gun for like four hours or so, I wasn't getting bored. The freshness of a new COD is always so much fun, and Black Ops 6 is no different. I mean, is it sweaty as hell? Oh, man, that's like, that's really VR, VR uh, uh, uh. Okay, he played it for four hours, and thank God he didn't get bored with that one gun. That's that's crazy. That's ludicrous. That tells you everything, right, about the state of Call of Duty. I'm not criticizing Nero, by the way. I'm just trying to... I mean, he said it himself, right? That is crazy. Just trying to bring a point that I guess he was getting bored in previous years after playing the game for four hours with a single gun. That, that is crazy. That is insane, right? I, I guess you can perhaps play with a weapon and then switch between different weapons with and that that's fine though but to say that you got bored after playing for for uh, you got bored after playing the game for four hours with a single gun that is ludicrous bro that is crazy so that's good to know that is good to know yeah i, I feel like that they did spend some time working on this game but four years i don't know about that one right it does not feel like a game that they took four years to make to me at the very least right but it does feel odd though. Multiplayer feels odd. I'm hearing good things about like campaign with zombies. People are kind of mixed, but I I'll be honest though. Like I, I, I to me, zombies feels kind of mid. Mid means like 50/50, right? Like you know. So I'm not, I'm not saying that zombies is trash or it's the best ever because it's not. It's, it's neither. It's not trash. It's not the best. It's mid, right? Even though I'm saying it's mid because that's true for me at least as of right now. I'm seeing a lot of people saying good things about it. Yes, I am hearing a lot of people say good things about it. So you know what? That's good to see. That's good to see people are finally enjoying the game. Or maybe it's like the honeymoon phase. Maybe that's what it is. And maybe a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, people are going to change their opinions. And I guess that's normal. People do change their opinions and nothing wrong with that. And yes, like if you're somebody watching this video and you're loving the game, hey, that's that's awesome, man. I wish I was also... <laughs> I'm debating whether I want to get the game or not for me, right? But if you already got the game, share your experience for sure. It's uh, let, let this be a conversation. I'm not trying to, trying to challenge anybody oh man you're wrong for liking oh you're wrong for hitting no 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 it's not that okay i feel like that multiplayer is solid so far i guess minus skill based matchmaking minus like the bbc bundles and the microtransactions i think it's gonna be a decent experience hopefully fingers crossed it's still way too early to say right but yeah i want to like know your experience as well on it Oh, sure, but 100%. playing something different after two straight years of Modern Warfare is definitely- Now, to say this feels something different, I don't know about that one. To me, though, like, it feels the same old- It feels like that this is Modern Warfare 2019 Part 4. Bruh. You know, b b the art, the design just feels same. The good thing about this game is that I love the movement when I played it, and I guess, like, yeah, that's what everybody's saying. It's a Treyarch movement, but still feeling like Modern Warfare, which is, like- yeah, man, I, uh, that's what adds to the fatigue level of Call of Duty, because if every Call of Duty feels and looks the same-ish, then people get bored faster. This is why back in the days, it was so good. Black Ops felt completely different. Modern Warfare felt completely different from Black Ops, and they would always do this, right? Black Ops, Modern Warfare, Black Ops, Modern Warfare, then came Call of Duty, go! <laughs> then came advanced warfare right so they tried something at least now every game ever since modern warfare 2019 every game is feeling the same same ish right we're just getting like the modified updated version of modern warfare 2019 so that's the only issue but the good thing that i'm hearing is that maps are tiny some of you would uh, disagree with that uh, and that's fine but i feel like that uh, if you're a track fan i guess uh, tiny maps is good because uh, you know modern warfare ever since we had modern warfare 19 it's always the big map Maps, uh, doors this and that right so it, it really gets unfun when they are just promoting the camping uh, style of gameplay so it feels like that and based off of my experience playing the beta i haven't encountered people camping too hard in the game which is positive that's a plus one you know what i mean i'm trying to i'm trying to be real about it guys I'm not trying to bash the game not trying to suck uh, actors and bbc or anything like that i'm just trying to be honest with you guys right I, i'm waiting to per make a purchase decision as well so just trying to be real with you guys man uh, so 
yeah. definitely a breath of fresh air. The reason why I call this an early first impressions video is because right now the game is not even out. Everything is still new and nothing has been able to really develop. We don't really have meta guns. We don't really have meta builds or crazy oh, exploits on the it. maps. We just have people running around and working on weapon camos, which is actually pretty cool. I'm and some are running around and they are also cheating in the <laughs> game. I'm not, uh, by the way, this is a thumbnail of Ghost of it. I'm not sure if Nadia was actually cheating or not. I don't know. I'm not accusing her. Uh, of course, like back in the day, she was cheating. After that, I'm not sure if, you sh if she's cheating or not. If you watch her stream, let us know in the comments, okay? But, but yeah, I, I can, I guess we can all say this. <laughs> this game, we're gonna see a lot of cheaters. And people most probably are cheating already in the game. Let's be real. The, the streamers, for the most part, are the top streamers for the most part. Yeah, like, a, a, a blind man can say that, right? Even a blind man can say that this game is gonna be infested by cheaters. So, yeah, skill-based matching and cheaters and BBC bundles and the, 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 the microtransactions. Uh, these are, like, the top three, <laughs> top three negative, the worst things about Call of Duty every single year, so... I'm sure if I search it up right now, there's already gonna be half a dozen YouTubers saying the new meta build, the craziest OP combos, this, that, and the other. Meanwhile, they're not even level 50 yet, but you guys know the game. Level you guys know how already? all that Sheesh. works here in the Call of Duty community. Expect to see videos playing. like that popping up in your feed from time to time. Going back to it though, in a lot of ways, this does feel like I'm playing Black Ops Cold War again, but in a good way, if that makes any sense. There's been a lot of positive changes that were made to the game compared to what we had in Cold War or even in the Modern Warfare games. It okay. has that same familiarity while also feeling new. The time to kill I was a bit concerned about, but the time to kill feels really good. The game is certainly running better for me than it was back during the beta. Gunfights definitely feel a lot more consistent, although these servers do mess up quite a bit, but that's likely due to all the region changing and nonsense going on with people playing the game early. Since we're still in the maybe, early stages maybe. of the game's launch, I can't really talk too much about how the game feels. Again, these are early first impressions, but I will say, progression feels good. That's something that I was really concerned about. That's a big thing for me in the COD franchise, and I'm sure many of you guys out there as well, because skill-based matchmaking I, I like that weapon level pop-up it does feel clean it does look clean i like that i like that. being the way that it is what keeps me playing and dealing with skill-based matchmaking i suppose is the fact that you have that progression that carrot on a stick that thing that you're always working towards and progression does feel good leveling up does not feel too fast it doesn't really feel too slow it does feel okay. rewarding when you level up especially now for the first time because when we level up we get new guns new perks new things in zombies you know every level gives you something new which is fantastic the camo grind is not too shabby like i said i did the gold camo for the xm4 but everything is going to require headshots in this game which of may course. be good may be bad i'm not entirely yeah. sure so assault rifles snipers shotguns pistols any uh yeah for for snipers and shotguns uh i guess maybe or if you're good with snipers then that's not gonna be an issue but with shotguns yeah like shot normally it's like long range right long range kills Headshots, that's gonna be like a little bit thing. They all require British. 100 headshots to finish up the military Sheesh. camos. After Sheesh. that, you get two special camos to go for, and they unlock at the same time, so you can technically do both challenges at once. But the biggest thing is, I'm just wondering how hard it's going to be going for 100 headshots with True. shotguns, True. going for 100 headshots with sniper rifles in a game. I'm like ridiculously excited about like the next Blame Truth video, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I wanna know like how. Yeah, because it's gonna be really creative because zombies to me feels kind of mid right now, right? So <laughs> it, it does guys it does why you ask because I've played like old-school zombies, right? Like black ops 1, black ops 2, black ops 3 zombies. I've even played black ops 4 zombies, right? So I've played them all and Yes, like I have a reference point now if you're a new player for you This is probably the best and uh, hey man listen I'm not even trying to argument because if you're a new Call of Duty player, or let's just say you have been playing Call of Duty, or you start, you picked up Call of Duty in the last four, five years-ish, oh man, this is probably going to be one of the best Call of Duty. Because yeah, five years ago we had what? Modern Warfare 19? Right, exactly, back, uh, back in 2019. And this came out, so yeah, five years, five years, it makes it five years, solid five years, right? So yeah, if you pick a Call of Duty within the last five years, zombies-wise, I guess this is the best. This is the best, right? Are, are you gonna say Vanguard bitch was best? Right, exactly. No, nah, no, nah, you're gonna not say that. Modern Warfare 3 zombies, bro, that was like Warzone zombies. Nothing wrong with Warzone zombies though, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna call that zombies, I mean, sick it please, okay? Like, damn, what we talking about at that point? Modern Warfare 3 Warzone, y you either wanna call it Warzone, you cannot call that zombies, okay? That was like Warzone with AI zombies and bots, okay? 
right? And now we're getting zombie maps, and they the, the zombie maps feeling kind of odd though, but not as good as Black Ops 3 Zombies, not as good as Black Ops 2 Zombies. It's missing the soul. They added a little bit of personality. Maybe it's gonna grow. Maybe it's gonna grow on people. Maybe it's gonna grow on me uh, in the future. Always a possibility. But so far, it feels kind of bland, though. I wanna know your honest uh, honest thoughts, guys. Listen, man, Activision don't give a damn about you. So while knowing that, just be honest. Just be honest. Like, you like it, you don't like it. If you like it, that's cool, too, man. That's cool, too. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine, too, brother with super thick skill based matchmaking i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see as we get used to the new maps the feel of the new guns and i'm really interested to see what the game is going to be like once the entire community has access to it in a few hours that's when yeah, we're going to see yeah, how yeah. black ops 6 really feels and yeah, i'm really yeah, looking yeah, forward yeah. to seeing what everyone thinks about the game once they finally get there yeah hit. i'm excited to see like the homies blame truth video i'm excited to see people being excited and people also being mad so it's gonna be an experience guys get ready for people cheating on the game as well check out this video on the screen recently we had some real good gta 6 gameplay leaks uh, a guy actually went to rockstar games and ended up recording a video through the blinds it's hilarious it's crazy check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there